In this episode of Tech Video, we will be going through some of the fantastic features of the new Opera browser which is called the Opera One in order to get the best experience of it. So let's start with the countdown of it. When you have opened a lot of tabs in Opera, trying to find the specific one can be a little confusing and challenging. For example, if I go to YouTube and then go to Unsplash, then eventually you figure out that it's really complicated. It's really confusing to find the one if you have opened a lot of tabs. Well, thankfully in Opera, we have real-time tabs preview when you press ctrl plus tab as you can see here it's gonna show you all the tabs in real time and you can switch between them by pressing tab over and over like that where eventually you arrive at the tabs that you wanted to open for example like my flow and then when you release the ctrl plus tab it's gonna jump back to the tab pretty amazing feature tip number two we have snapshot tool now snapshot tool we have a lot of extensions for it but opera has a built-in feature which is pretty amazing when you open up her website what you can do here you can simply click on this camera icon and then once you click it it's gonna tell you what you want to do like capture visible page capture full page or save page as a PDF in this case what I would do here is click on the capture visible page and it's gonna simply capture it now there is a lot of things you can customize it if you click on the blur here you can then simply paint over some of the text to kind of blur them out and then you have other feature like you know type something maybe you can add her emojis things like that you can really customize it it's pretty amazing now if you would like to save it what you would do here simply click on the save image and then you can save it here anywhere you want like I would save it on my desktop or you can copy it into the clipboard and paste it anywhere you want. Tip number 3 restoring closed tabs. Now it's pretty obvious if you know about the shortcut when you press shift ctrl plus t it's gonna open up her the recently closed tabs. However this is can be challenging when you're trying to find her the specific recently closed tab. Well thankfully Opera allows that if you press ctrl plus space or command plus space on a Mac it's gonna show all the recently closed tabs on the list. So what you can do here is simply click on any of those it's gonna restore that link right away and open it. Tip number 4 Tab Island When you open up here a lot of tabs and trying to organize them is a lot of intimidating task. What you can do here is that it's automatically create the island of it like group wise of it when you open up a nested link from within the website. For example if I have open YouTube and I wanted to open up here within this section like a history I can right click here and open link in a new tab. As you can see here it's created this tab island and then if I open up here another link within this website it would automatically create an island of it. Now if I click this it's gonna collapse that. However this is just one tip of it. If you would like to create an island of a lot of tabs what you can do here is hold shift and select all the tabs that you want to create an island. As you can see here I was on the YouTube page and then when I hold shift and click here it selected all of them. I can select this one too while holding the shift and then right click here click on the mode from tab by land and then you can again right click here and then create tab island as you can see here it would create a tab island of this all tabs now if i press this it's gonna collapse all of them in a one organized tab you can then of course open it back like so or you can then collapse it back to open it it's pretty amazing and fantastic features Tip number 5 Aria AI Assistant Now Aria is one of the beautiful alternative to chat GPT that is integrated within the Opera browser. When you install her the latest version of Opera, it is by default pre-installed come with the Opera browser. So when you press ctrl plus forward slash or command plus forward slash on Mac, as you can see here it's gonna pop up this window where you can then type her any prompt here. For example if I type here as you can see here it's gonna generate me the prompt now by the way it has a real-time access to the internet if you want to continue this in a chat you click on this as you can see here it's gonna open up here the left side menu which is the side panel menu in opera where you can then you can continue the conversation and then you can then ask her follow-up question just like you would normally do from chat gpt it's pretty amazing and it is also absolutely free that comes here with the opera browser now if you would like to save her the screenshot of it you can click on this it's gonna copy the snapshot of this entire prompt or you can then tell her to regenerate that for your prompt or you can copy it here from this in the sixth step we have flow now flow is one of the beautiful feature of opera browser that allows you to seamlessly sync the data between the opera browser on the different platform now let me show you how this really works for example if i open up here this uh, link uh, of this artwork uh, i want to send it here to my mobile what i would do her is open up her the browser opera on my mobile 
and also the flow as well within my opera browser of my phone what i would do here is simply if i want to share the link of this artwork i would click on the top right arrow corner which is sent to my flow as you can see here it would right away synchronize with my phone now if i want to share the image of it i would again click on the arrow sent to my flow like as you can see here this would simply appear now if you want to access her my flow within the opera browser you can access it from the sidebar setup of opera if you don't see it you can go to the sidebar setup and simply check the my flow if it hasn't been checked it would appear that tool which you can access right away now if you want to share her the local file from your pc to phone you can click on the upload icon and then simply select any of the image and then you can see how it would simply synchronize right away now if you don't know how to connect your pc opera browser to your phone for the first time you would see this so what you would do her click on the reveal qr code and on your phone you would click on flow and connect device and connect the qr code on your pc and then give the confirm authentication once you are done with the authentication by you can then click on the another prompt which would say her if the code is matching you can click on yes they match once you are done with that you are good to go now what you can do her is simply share the images links or just generally text from your phone to pc seamlessly pretty amazing and fantastic feature Tip number 7 pin board. Now pin board is one of the fantastic another features of Opera browser which allows you to save the items text images into the cloud and organize them beautifully. Now let me show you how this really works. For example if I open up here this art again and I want to save it here in my pin boards. What I would do here is simply click on these pin boards which would tell me where I want to save it. I have created here a different folder here for example life changing course best life inspiring comments course. Here. now what i would do here is simply want to save this within my code section and as you can see here it would add it into my pin boards now the same goes here for the text as well for example if i want to save the text i would select all of them like so and then go again to the pin boards and then as you can see here add a note which is pre default already selected here i can then click on add here now if i want to access these pin boards what i would do here is simply go again to the sidebar setup and click on the pin boards now by default if you don't see it you can click on the sidebar setup and then scroll all the way here and check this pin boards once you click this it's gonna open up here a new section where you can then explore all the things that you have set for example the text that i have saved here you know and also the art link that i have saved you can also add here your new quotes here or comment section you can add her images or links here and things like that now if you want to create a new folder you can click on a new pin boards and you can then call it whatever you would like to and if i go ahead and for example add my new image here from my art section i can select any of the art here and as you can see it would save right away now you can even customize the folder of the pin border by right click here and then click on change image you can then select here any of the image that you like to for example this one and as you can see it would appear come in handy in a lot of stuff where you want to save some of the memories maybe inspiring comments maybe quotes or arts things like that it's fantastic tip number eight workspaces when you open up here a lot of tabs and you want to have a separate section of workspace now normally what you would do here is create a new windows where you can then access it here and open up a new tabs however opera allows her a seamless workspace feature for example if i open up here four tabs here and i want to open up here a new section of workspace i will click on workspace 2 and as you can see here within one windows i can open up another tabs another like my browsing internet i can open up another website and things like that here now if i want to go back to the another workspace i can click on that and it's gonna switch to the another workspace the previous one and retaining all my tabs like so now if i want to go back i can then switch between the workspaces while retaining all the tabs here if you want to customize this for example from workspace 2 by renaming it you can right click here and click on sidebar setup and you can then click on this and then edit it here you can then rename it to whatever you like to you can add more as well by the way if you would like to add more workspaces tip number nine picture in picture mode now picture in picture mode one of the another amazing feature of opera that allows you to kind of pop out the video while playing it when it is enabled what you can do here click on this pop-up icon which is called the pop-up video and once you click on this it's gonna pop this now it would retain her on any of the windows for example if i go to my desktop i can then control her and select this and interact with this now if you want to enable it here what you would do here is go to this opera 
style and then click on setting type here pop and then scroll all the way here and simply enable here the enable pop out simply check this and then it should flawlessly working and you see this here picture in picture mode now if you want to go back here click on this back to tab and it's gonna come back here tip number 10 force dark web pages now by default website have a light theme now if you want to see here the dark version of that website normally what you would do her install third party application but thankfully opera has a built-in feature when you click on the easy setup and select force dark themes and pages and check this as you can see how the website would instantly change to dark mode like for example here it was white and then i can switch it here with just one simple toggle tip number 11 battery saver now when you eject your laptop from the outlet you would see her this icon which is on the top right corner called the battery saver when you enable this it's gonna save the battery wall for longer browsing now according to opera when you enable the battery saver what you would do here it would prolong the browsing experience compared to the other browser by 40 percent of your battery life which is pretty amazing now if you enable here the built-in ad blocker as well it would increase to 49 percent longer battery life now according to their under the hood optimization they kind of schedule the cpu javascript timer and also pass some of the unused plugin reduce the frame rate to 30 per second and so much more just to give you the longer battery life first. tip number 12 built-in vpn now opera has a built-in vpn which is really amazing now if you want to enable this what you would do here is click on the vpn and then click on this now if you don't see this what you would do here again go to setting and then simply type here vpn and then simply check this now if you go ahead and click on the vpn and select this it's gonna connect to the closest server now you can access her any of the block websites and it's gonna relaunch them instantly now you can even switch the server of the vpn by clicking the optimal location you can connect to america server asia server or europe and opera would determine it based on your location the most optimized server for your devices bonus final tips now if you go to setting and go scroll all the way to the advanced setting the one fantastic feature that you probably would like is the short tap preview when you enable this for example when i hover over the youtube like so as you can see here it's gonna show me the tap preview now if i open up here for example another tab here pixel.com and go to setting and then when i hover over it as you can see it's gonna show me the preview of it like you can then if you want to have this feature rather than switching between the tabs using control plus tab now another tip is just show emoji in the tooltip if you enable this and when you hover over it the tab as you can see you can assign her the emojis to any of those tabs for example to the setting or maybe just to differentiate it between from the rest of the tabs you can play around with any of those toggle in order to get the best experience of the browser so that's it for this video i hope you like some of the best tips and tricks in opera browser and if you like this be sure to give it a thumbs up i make videos every single week related to technology design if you would like to support this channel smash that subscribe button with bell notification then i guess i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching